You have been waiting for months for state refunds, and now News 4 has found you may not see that money until mid-summer. News 4 investigator Chris Nagus finds the delays will ultimately cost all taxpayers more money. Well, you have a get started button here. From his home in St. Louis. You enter your social security number. Chris Geckner has been checking on the status of his state refund for months, and he's been waiting for good news for a while. And when you called the state, what did they tell you? They were just behind. They were just behind. He filed on February 11th and was told it would take six weeks. During a recent check, the system updated to 12 weeks and discovered that 12 weeks didn't start until mid-April, two months after he filed. So now he's looking at getting his refund sometime in mid-July. I asked the people I talked to on the phone, what could I do? Um, they basically had no recourse for me. With the Department of Revenue? Exactly. No recourse. I, I, I don't know what to do. We are aware of some of the delays this year with the Department of Revenue. State Auditor Nicole Galloway wants taxpayers like Geckner to call her office. This isn't a new problem. We found years ago that they were increasingly delayed and that there was an uneven playing field between the government and the taxpayer when it came to late refunds. Recent legislation evened the playing field a bit. Anyone whose refund is delayed more than 45 days will get interest, which will ultimately cost taxpayers more than if the state paid on time. And that extra amount doesn't make waiting any easier. You feel like that's a fair resolution? I just want the money. <laughs> If you've been waiting more than 45 days, let us know at investigates at KMOV.com. Also, call the state auditor's office. It could lead to an audit of the system. That number is 1-800-347-8597. Chris Geckner called and spoke to a real person about his problem today. Chris Nagus, News 4.